Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where data science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving intro questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. This video we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding differences in movie ratings. This question has been asked in Google and Netflix interview and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML user roles. Okay. So so the question reads, calculate the average lifetime rating and the rating from the movie with the second biggest ID across all actors and all films they had acted in. Remove the null ratings from the calculation. Role type is normal acting. Output a list of actors, their average lifetime rating, rating from the film with the second biggest ID, that is use the ID column and the absolute difference between the two ratings. Okay. So we are given two data frames, nominee filmography and nominee information and our expected output is a pandas data frame with four different columns. You have name of the actor, their rating from the second highest ID movie, then the average lifetime rating and the absolute difference between these two, which is variance column. Okay, let's inquire about this data frame. So here we have the first data frame nominee filmography and it has, if you look at it, it has the rating column, it has the name column and it has the ID column. And using the rating column, you can even get the average rating as well. So let's visualize this. So you have all these columns. So if you think about it, actually you do not need even the second data frame to solve this question. But yeah, let's look at it. It has basically the information about the person. So person ID, genre, birthday ID. But if you look at it here, we want in the output four different columns. Firstly, the name, you have it. Then you need the average rating. So from the rating, you can calculate the average rating by grouping by the name. Then for the second biggest ID, you need the rating. So obviously using the ID column, you can rank and get the second biggest ID as well. And you need the absolute difference. So all we need is this data frame and we should focus only on this data frame. Okay. So the first step should be, we have two different filters that we need to perform. Firstly, remove the null ratings. And secondly, the rule type should be normal acting. So if you look at in our data frame nominee filmography, there are some ratings which are nulls and we have a role type column which can take other values than normal acting as well. So we need to firstly make sure that we are only having ratings which are not null and role type is equal to normal acting. So let's try to get that. So the first filter is the rating column is NA is null, right? Is null, it should be false. So what does this mean? That it is not null. So this is first filter. And then the second filter is that. So this and we take the normal filmography column and then take the role type should be equal to equal to the normal acting value because these are the two values that we need to make filters. So if I go ahead and run this, this is basically going to give you true and false values. Now let's save this into you know, just to make our code easier to look and, you know, clean filters is equal to this. And if I pass this filter to the original data frame, so filters, it is going to keep only those rows where this value was true. So if I go ahead and run this, let's see what do we get in our output. So now you have all the rows where role type is equal to normal acting and rating is not null. Okay, so now we are done with the filters part. Let's save this in a data frame called DF. Then we need two different things. Firstly, we need the rating from the second highest ID movie. So what we can do is we should make a column called rank, which is basically going to rank the IDs for every person from highest to lowest. And obviously rank equal to two would be the second highest ID. So let's create a column called ID rank. And how are we going to create it? df dot group by the name of the person. So group by the name and then take the ID column, right? So take the ID column and perform a rank. So dot rank method should be equal to dense so that they do not skip the ranks. So dense and ascending should be false. So ascending is equal to false. So Let's see if we have this new uh, column that has been created or not. So now if you look at it, this column has been 
created. Now, once we have this ID rank column, we need two things. Firstly, let's create a data frame which contains, right? So for every name, ID rank equal to two, what is the rating? So let's create that. So let's call that data frame as second, which is basically take the ID rank column and equate it to two and that is going to give you the second biggest movie by id and then we are only required to keep the name column and the rating column okay let me go ahead and let's see what do we have in the data frame that we created called second so now you have the name and the rating so these are the rating second biggest id movie for these people okay so we have the first two columns part now from our expected output then we also need the lifetime rating, which is basically the average rating. So what we can do is let's create another data frame called average, which is basically what df dot. Let me just, you know, uh, just so that it's easier for us. Let me just bring back this data frame called df so that it's easier for us. OK, so this is what df is. Now let's create a data frame called average, which is basically the average rating for each of the person. So df dot group by this name column and then use the dot aggregate method that we have learned about. What is the name of the column that we want? It is lifetime rating. And how are we going to populate it? Take the rating column and perform the mean of it and then what we need to do is since we grouped by the name we need to reset index so that we have the name as a column now let's go ahead and look at this average data frame so if i look at it you have the name and the lifetime rating okay now once we have this so you have the second data frame which has the name and rating you have the average data frame which again has the name and lifetime rating and in your output, you need both of these. So obviously you can merge these two data frames into one. So what we can do is take the second data frame and perform a merge. Merge this with the average data frame on the column. The only common column is name. So on this and obviously how are we going to merge this? let's do a inner joint why because if you look at it you need to calculate the difference in the rating and lifetime rating as well so obviously if any of the one is null so you cannot calculate the variance so that is why i am going ahead with how is equal to inner okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we get in our output so now you have the name rating and lifetime rating the only column that is left right now is the variance column but yeah what we need to do is let's save this in a data frame called final and then create this column called variance which is going to be basically final take the rating column and then subtract the lifetime rating column however the question says we need the absolute difference so what we can do is we can wrap this around the absolute function okay now let me go ahead and write final let's see if we have the new column created or not so right now if you look at it you have the name you have the rating lifetime rating and the variance part so if you look at it our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it so yes let me just drag it down so this is how the full code looks like there are two filters that needs to be performed firstly we need to make sure rating is not null and secondly the role type is equal to normal acting we had that as filters and we filtered the data frame saved it in a data frame called df then since we are going to work with the id rank so we created an id rank basically ranked based on id in descending order once we had that when we, then we got the name and the rating of the second highest by id movie and then we created an average data frame which is basically for every name what is the lifetime rating and then we merged these two into one and calculated the absolute difference in the column called variance so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video